everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Wow, I feel like I haven't been on in a while. Um, I did my live last uh, Friday, it was, and then I believe I posted a video on Saturday, but I think it was pre-recorded from Friday. Yes, I think I have that right. So... I really haven't made a video for you all since I uh, did the live. So I will start out by saying, uh, well, let me start out by saying you are looking <laughs> um, at Sweet Lennon. Oh, gosh, I love this baby. Um, Lennon is uh, my Chase sculpt. Uh, he's the Chase by Bonnie Brown. Um, and his artist is... Alexandra Hughes. Uh, I think her nursery is Alexandra's Babies. Um, so, and he's actually fairly new. Um, he was the last baby that um, I got. Pretty sure, yes. He was the last baby that came in before Tatum, which is my silicone. So I was, I was, I was in like a tug of war struggling with, do I bring Tatum back on, uh, for a video, um, or this little guy? And I said, I, I'm going to do him. Um, so I have been, the reason why I've been so busy is, uh, well, we, we do have a lot going on here as you might, well, you probably wouldn't notice because I'm zoomed in on him, but I am still in this room. <laughs> Um, and, but it, we're, um, really in the midst here of, uh, what we're working on in the house and everything. And, um, of course here in New York, the kids are off from school. They've been off all week for midwinter recess. Um, and along with getting things done, I've just been enjoying having the kids home. Um, we really didn't have anything special planned just kind of spending time together. Uh, but exciting, exciting. Uh, my daughter, Destiny, which I did post on Instagram, my 16-year-old daughter, Destiny, um, she just passed her driver's permit test yesterday. So that was really exciting. I am going to get started uh, changing this little love, and I'm going to chat with you all Um just a little more with what's going on, but I figured let me start changing him so you have something to look at while I'm yapping away. Um, he's been in this forever, but um, I've still been, he's he's definitely one of my go-to babies, and I think that's a topic I'm going to kind of talk to you all about tonight is about go-to babies. Um, so even though I haven't taken the time to change him, um, still, I still pick him up, um, like every day and I go to him to, you know, have a snuggle and stuff. So I am actually just putting him into this. I have an adorable outfit I want to put on him, but I want him snuggly for tonight. So I'm going to put him into this sleeper. I think Julian has been in this sleeper and Gabriel was definitely in this, uh, sleeper. It's, it's really pretty. It's very soft, uh, white. It's buttoned down. It has two little working pockets in the front and then it has an, um, blue, um, they're almost like um, stenciled or pe pencil drawings of um, little birds all over it. And it is, open it up. And I, I know it's a UK brand um, and the tag's probably in here. It's probably a mother care. Yeah, mother care. Um, and what size? Let me tell you all the size. Uh, new baby, up to seven pounds. So that's what he's going to go in. I love babies in white and this is just, you know, crisp and white and just so soft and snuggly. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah, he's definitely um, a go-to baby. But back to uh, my daughter. So I am so proud of her. She did really good on the test. Um, and uh, um, it was snowing. It had just started snowing when we pulled up to, um, motor vehicle. We were there quite a long time because I think their front computers were down. So you, everyone was on like the same line for the same ticket counter. And then they give you a ticket and they disperse you where you're going, which in our case was over to where the permit tests are given. Um, 
So by the time we got out, and of course she she passed, she passed with flying colors, which was great. And uh, so it was quite a ways and, and on the expressway to get home from the motor vehicle. So I couldn't just very well put her behind the wheel with no experience driving to get onto main roads and stuff. I wanted her to get a feel for the van and the brakes and da 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 and see how she drove. So, but when we got back to our neighborhood and we were almost to the house, I pulled over and I said, you want to drive a little bit in the neighborhood? And of course she was sight and she wanted to and she got behind the wheel and I'll tell you she is a very good driver um she you know of course she was nervous but she was not overly nervous she just adjusted her mirror she went um she's you know drives the speed limits her stops are nice and smooth um she she stops correctly at the stop signs and waits she's gets the, um, she takes turns perfectly. I can see that she's using her mirrors and looking and for a brand new driver, that's, you know, that's pretty impressive. Um, I actually thought, I just expected her to be, it to be a little more of a choppy drive and a little more like on the edge of my seat, worried about, you know, other cars and coming and things like that. But yeah, she did, she did fantastic. And then uh, my husband took her driving a bit, uh, last night and then it was really snowing. So she got some snow experience driving and she drove again today. We went to pick up my, uh, one of my other daughters. Um, and so she did a bit of driving today too. So that was exciting. So she is actually, it was so funny. We're taking pictures in front of like this, like pillar thing in the front of the Department of Motor Vehicles. And that was the third time taking a pass the permit test picture. <laughs> it's my third child that got, you know, got her permit. Of course, the other two have their full licenses now. Um, and we had Gabriel with us. Um, so he got in a few pictures with her. And I'm thinking to myself, well, three down and one to go. <laughs> so I said to myself, we'll be back here with him. Um, doing the same thing. So anyway, uh, I said, I feel old. <laughs> Three kids now driving, right? Oh my goodness. So this baby boy, oh my goodness. I mean, even with having like my dream silicon, my Claire Taylor silicon, um, you know, that I'm totally in love with here and, and pretty new. Um, this baby just, oh my gosh, does he ping my heart. Um, the, the sculpt, the chase sculpt itself, I just adore his sculpt and he is just so beautifully, um, painted and rooted. Um, it, almost to a surprise to me that I am so drawn to him because, uh, in general, my style, like, um, he's, he's more fair skinned for my like style and he's totally smooth. And I do prefer the, um, you know, the little bit heavier of a matte varnish, but there's something about this baby. I mean, he has a, a an incredible, incredible amount of realism in my opinion um in in his movement in his sculpt just you know in his hair just everything to me and there's just something that just absolutely draws me to him he's just so thinking cute um and I have Julian, who is the Levi, and he was my first Levi, and it was only a couple months ago that I got him. That was before the surgery as well. And of course, experiencing the Levi school for the first time was just amazing. Um, definitely absolutely amazing. But for some reason, I am still just much more drawn um to 
uh, little Lennon here. I think per perhaps, and to those of you new, hello and welcome. <laughs> um, to those of you that have been with me, you know that Lennon is my Levi, and he is also blonde haired. He has definitely different, like, skin tone, different painting style, which I love as well. But his hair is like a different like type of blonde it's a little more of almost like a it's very white but it almost has like a yellowish like tint to it um in general you don't see babies with like platinum blonde hair like very often um and I don't I I guess I just don't love his hair. I, I don't know what it is because, like, I love the Levi sculpt and I love Lennon. Don't get me wrong. I adore him and the boys look adorable together. But I just keep getting more drawn to this baby. Um, both of them for taking photos and stuff. Oh, I have a little string I want to snip. Uh, both of them for taking photos. I just love and so I've been missing not only to make a few videos, but you all know how much I enjoy taking the photos and posting them on Instagram and stuff. So I'm hoping to get a photo shoot in tonight as well um, with little Lennon and, uh, and Tatum too. I want to get some of Tatum. So go to babies. And I thought I'd also talk about like, how do I really feel about my reborns now that I am very settled in with, um, with my, you know, total dream baby silicon. I could not be, I could not be more in love with my little Tatum. Um, and I know um, I definitely see it happen to collectors um, once they start getting into the silicons after collecting reborns. The silicons, to, um, you, you see with some collectors, the silicons will take over. They wind up selling their reborn collection and just doing the silicons. Um, I can tell you all that oh, his arm, oh, he's just amazing let me hold him up a little bit I can tell you that there is no change or love loss for the reborn babies for me um it's almost like you know your heart has room for everything and all of them and for the love of you know different you know things so you know, there's certain things that having the silicon baby brings, and then there's certain things that, you know, having the reborn babies bring. And I really equally um, just love, you know, I, I really couldn't imagine not collecting, you know, either or. I definitely, definitely still have a strong love of the reborns and bonds to the babies here. Frankie, um, by the way, she did find a new mommy. I am absolutely over the moon with the mommy that she found. Um, just, you know, I, you know, I admire this, you know, um, mommy as a collector. And I feel like Frankie is just so stunning, um, and so extraordinary that she's totally worthy of this new mommy's, you know, collection. And she's going to, I think she's going to be really thrilled with her. So I'm very happy that I will see her being, you know, well cared for at, at, with regard to, you know, um, preserving her art. And I don't know. And just, you know, presented beautifully and all that. It, it's just going to be enjoyable. Um, to see her where she's going. And of course, as long as it's okay with her new mommy when she arrives, I will announce where she went so you all can go over and see uh, the box opening. Um, and she was supposed to arrive today. This is the first time ever that I have on my end on shipping a baby that the baby did not arrive on the day that it was supposed to. So USPS, and I've been hearing lots and lots of stories of everyone, you know, having hard times with we, um, the U.S. Postal Service these days. And so, you know, she didn't, you know, there should have been no no issues. She was shipped two-day priority, insured, and all that. And I don't understand why she didn't get there. But 
it looks like her tracking is moving and I think, uh, you know, I'm just hoping that she'll arrive tomorrow and that there won't be any issues like some of the horror stories that you see because I, 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 we don't want that. So let's pray she arrives tomorrow and then I'll be able to, uh, you know, announce where she went and all that. So... I don't know where I was going with that. What got me on that subject? Oh, um, talking about the babies that are that are in my collection now that I have a deep bond with, and um, I I have the grand desire to have only like a few special babies. I know I could never get down to one, but. You know, like just having a, the lesser amount and being able to really focus on those babies. But the babies that I've had here now, most of the babies that I have here now um, have been with me quite a while and are now it's down to um, pretty much from artists that, you know, are my favorite artists and they're just special, important babies. So I'm having a really hard time making decisions. It wasn't easy letting Frankie go. I just, I knew in my heart she wasn't the right sculpt for me. But it was hard because she's, she's just something else. It's just, you know, when an artist just totally nails it. And ay ay ay. But, you know, I, I have to remember to have patience and look to the future in that, um, you know, I, you know, God willing, I'll be collecting for many years to come and I want to leave room and I am sure that the right, um, AA baby, um, from, uh, Myra will come up. Um, that's just the sculpt that I, you know, a sculpt that I just adore, um, because that's where I'm down to. Um, I'm having a very hard time consolidating out of this room now, like in, as far as finding space um, and not being too cluttered, which I am, you know, very cluttered right now. So I just know that unfortunately at the moment I cannot, just cannot be the type of collector to, you know, just have a nursery or a room or a nice shelf unit to display all the babies and just really kind of have a lot that I'm drawn to. I am more limited um, and you want to at least be able to have the babies out, you know, on display properly, not just all crunched in a basket, if y'all, if you know what I mean. So, so yeah, it's like, you know, plus, you know, I have to, you know, bounce back from, you know, I, I, there's reasons why I'm probably going to have to put, you know, at least a couple more babies up, but I just don't, I just don't know what to do, where to start. This little guy, so talking about your kind of go-to babies, um, um, and this is where you can all comment for me. Do you all have that? Do you have babies that are, you know, to those of you that have, you know, larger collection, and of course that's open for interpretation, but, you know, more than just, you know, a couple, you know, reborns or silicons or both. Um, do you have babies that are more your go-to babies, your everyday babies, um, that you're, you're just more inclined to, you know, change, hold, photograph, things like that, but still have other babies that you love and appreciate having in your collection, but don't necessarily, you're not necessarily drawn to, um, you know, pick them up every day, et cetera, et cetera. So I was wondering, cause like, I still feel like, um, don't know why I just still feel like I struggle as to where I should be or am as a collector. Um, because I'm just, it's constantly that pull, that tug of war, um, of, you know, wanting just a few special babies to really hone in on. I have a hard time, you know, 
um, keeping up with, you know, um, their seasonal wardrobes and things like that. Whereas if I just had a few special babies that I was shopping for or looking for things for, it would just, I wouldn't be spread so thin. Um, so, and I don't know, I don't know how I want to do it. If I'm able to keep, um, some of my collection that I would, wouldn't want to part with if, if I'll feel okay just having certain babies that are kind of more in the background, so to speak, and then more babies that are, that I bring on film more often and, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so anyway, definitely let me know how you all feel and how many of you all have, um, transitioned from reborns into silicones and saw that the, that you felt you were just um, a silicon type of collector and let go of reborns. Um, because like I said, I, I see that too. Nothing wrong with that. I always say there is no right or wrong way to collect dolls. Um, and anybody tells you anything different is, you know, just whatever, either they're jealous or they're narrow-minded. I don't, I don't care. I just, I don't think it's fair. Oh, this stupid tripod. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm saying stupid. That's not nice. This tripod is like hanging on by a piece of tape at this point, which I must get another. Oh my goodness. I can't believe this thing is like Oh, I, I need a new tripod, ladies. If you could only see this patch job and how this thing is taped together, that's, that's not going to stay long. All right, I'm going to keep trying to talk while I grab a piece of tape and hope that doesn't fall, which it is. I am so sorry, ladies. I am so disheveled here. So, but I'm happy to have a few minutes I would love to host another live like tomorrow night but I don't think that that's gonna happen and I definitely want to try to spend some time with the family but the kids will be everything will be back on schedule um the kids will be back in school next week and um I don't know I'm thinking maybe I could do a live um next week um you know during the day while the kids are in school and see how many of you all are hanging out um on an afternoon to have some coffee or lunch or whatever with me so anyway that's that for this evening i'm gonna go snuggle with this little man who's just oh my goodness my goodness he's just oh my gosh he's just precious um and uh, to those of you that have been following uh, June or more Ashley, who's been giving the updates at Baby Love Heart Smith, um, our beloved uh, June, who is uh, Reborn Baby Hope and Joy here on YouTube and June B on Instagram, um, to those of you that were aware that she was going in for um, the back surgery to fix uh, fractures in, in her back. Um, Ashley has a bit more of elaborating on that. Um, and I will include a link to her video if you'd like to go get the information of like exactly what was going on in the surgery. But, um, she has, she's two days post-op now. Um, she came through beautifully. I can't believe how amazing she looks for two days being post-op with some pretty, major back surgery being done. Um, you know, of course she's still, you know, she's feeling pain from the surgery. Um, but she's just such a trooper and I really, um, I admire her strength and, you know, she's still, you know, trying to put out those positive vibes and she's just, you know, been through so much, but I was just praying and praying, uh, with her on the, on the surgery and, I know uh, many of you were praying and thank you all for your prayers. I know it meant so much to me when I went in for my surgery. And of course, you know, she's just got so much more going on than that. 
So I definitely wanted to uh, let you all know in case you haven't had an update that, um, you know, she is, she's kicking butt there. She's, she's looking great. Um, and she's just such an amazing person. And I just admire her strength um, so much. So, and uh, being that I'm sending you over to Ashley's channel, you got to check out her new baby. Congratulations, Ashley. I don't want to spoil anything to say, but um, I am <laughs> loving the new baby that she has there. Um, you'll see why if you head on over and see the baby. So, all right, everyone, I'm going to let you all go. Maybe I could even do a dual thing and get another video filmed and we'll do Tatum. Uh, so I have another one to put up in a couple days since the weekend, I'm sure. We'll be busy with the family and all. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. Please comment below and check and make sure that uh, you are subscribed and that you've hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video and so that you don't miss my live live streams last Friday um you know there was really no warning um an hour before I post on Instagram I'm going on in an hour and that was the best warning that I could give and then I think a lot of times it will be like that I won't be able to plan it out with a time and a date I apologize for that it's just my crazy life but if you have that notification bell hit um then at least when the live starts, you'll get a notification so that if you're free to join, you won't miss it. Um, so yeah, check and make sure you've got that bell hit. All right, everyone. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Uh, little Lennon, thank you for stopping by. It's just cute as a button. And until next time, God bless.